So, what do I have here? Sony Interactive Studios. It's actually a second party Sony game produced by Single Track. For anybody not quite old enough, Single Track was one of the important uh, developers in the early PlayStation 1 life cycle. Produced games like Warhawk that we're looking at here, uh, the Twisted Metal, the Jet Moto, you know, it was really like doing awesome, like hit after hit. Unfortunately, it. Uh, what happened to. They got bought out by uh, GT Interactive, I think, and then closed down. So it's a real shame that such a talented developer just sort of got pissed away. But I think most of the important people like David Jaffe went on and um, went somewhere else. David Jaffe went and did God of War. So, uh, hell, even a bigger uh, bigger deal than the Twisted Metal series. But anyway, Warhawk. Now remember, this is early PlayStation 1 we're looking at here, so don't judge it too harshly. Commander. This is Commander Jacek. The last strike against Creel was wiped out in less than an hour after they lost contact. I'm not losing my pilots because you can't cut through some interference. Those are my people down there, so find a way. Commander, intelligence can't find anything on this Creel guy. Creel's army can appear out of nowhere, set up installations and vanish. No one knows how or why. I don't like mysteries, Corporal. They have a way of killing people. Make sure that ship's 110% ready. The Creel's army really has these super weapons. I want as much data as I can get. This will be close enough to a suicide mission as it is. Walker, you've read the mission briefs. Creel's army keeps popping up all over the place. The last time they showed up, Strike Force Alpha went after them. There wasn't enough of them left to fill a Boy Scout troop. Creel's forces didn't even flinch. The rest of Strike Force Omicron's already down there. Your mission's a little different. Creel's been using some kind of new fuel source, and I want you two to find it. Uh, I feel like a little search and destroy, right, Hatch? Walker, you misread your briefing. I want you to go into the hot zone and bring that fuel source back. Lock it down and power it up. We have a priority one launch. Typing with gloves on, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, so what we're playing is Warhawk, it's a flight simulator but not a particularly realistic one. You fly the Warhawk. It is a VTOL aircraft that can just fuck all sorts of shit up. Look at this shit. Now this was, you gotta remember the era that this was, uh, that this was made in. Where 3D graphics being used for something like this was just an entirely new thing, at least for consoles. There were games, I remember like, um, I had an uncle who would play PC games and he had like, there were flight sims on his old PC that he, oh my god, anyway, this was, I think like as far as over the top sci-fi flight simulator kind of things like this. The standard that everybody looks to in this generation for like being King of the Hill is probably probably those Star Wars uh, Rogue Squadron games. And really like early in the N64 there was also that um, the Star Wars uh, God, what was it? Shadows of the Empire. And that was kind of a big deal, wasn't it? Because there were a couple of levels where oh shit, there were a couple of levels where you would fly uh, I don't know, snow speeders or whatever, 
And that was kind of the big deal, where everybody looks to as being like the pinnacle of it in that generation. But this was early PlayStation 1. So you gotta you gotta have a little bit of forgiveness for the kinks in this thing. And it's kind of a shame that the series didn't go on, not really anyway. Alright, so we have this pyramid thing to destroy. The swarmers. This was so freaking cool. <laughs> Especially back then, like, the, the graphical effect of these things, like, uh, flying out and then independently tracking their way towards the target. Something we hadn't seen before, and something you really don't even see now. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, but it looks so cool. There was a Warhawk game released for the PlayStation 3, a game I actually liked up until a point, anyway. Without analog control, flight sims are a little wonky. The lock-on just wasn't hitting where I needed it to. Yeah, there was a Warhawk game released for the PlayStation 3. It was shown off early in the PlayStation 3's life cycle. I think it was like before the PlayStation 3 released, it was unveiled. But it was a online, like, uh, they did show a single player, a single player part, like this little city just out in the middle of the desert, no roads going to it or anything. They showed it as a game with both a single player and a multiplayer component, but they had stripped out the single player part by the time the game released. And, you know, the multiplayer was alright. I remember being in the beta test and thinking that that game was absolutely incredible because they had gone and, I guess, the beta test, they had sort of hand-selected employees, or employees, uh, beta testers. So they had... They had players who knew people, like, everybody had to have a headset, for example. And I guess maybe they selected people to play it a certain amount of time online or something like that. I guess people maybe who were in good standing with the PlayStation Network. And that resulted in people who at least put some effort into playing the game properly. And that was pretty awesome because uh, I got it. <laughs> Don't bother getting out. Your ship's rearmed and they're unloading the canister you brought back now. There's another site about 50 clicks out that's shrouded in that same interference you just left. Creel's forces? Wait a minute, you're sending us out there again? You got a better idea, Walker? It's a canyon zone. Your ship's the most maneuverable one we've got left. And that weird interference is blocking everything. I need a status report. <laughs> So the PS3 version, it wasn't really like a sequel. The only thing it had really in common was the VTOL aircraft that you you fly around was similar to the Warhawk, that thing that we're flying now. So you're just sort of... Um, you're just kind of in a similar aircraft. But it had like ground-based combat and vehicle-based combat. Like you would have, you would have assault rifles, and you'd ah shit, and you'd have rocket launchers and trucks, stuff like that. But you know, it, once the game actually released, though, it kind of fell short of expectations. But in in beta, though, it was awesome. In fact, I uh, oh shit, okay. In beta testing, 
I had one of the best like multiplayer gameplay experience I'd ever had. Just because of the, the people that I had kept getting paired up with just made the game that much more fun. Like I remember there's just one um, it, it was basically all like capture the flag kind of thing. So you would have you would have your side and you would have the enemy's side and you would have to get over there and capture the flag and bring it back to your base. Now there's some restrictions. You couldn't fly a Warhawk while you had the flag. So you would have these two teams splitting up. Some, there wouldn't be enough Warhawks for everybody. So some people would get in the some people would get in the planes and some people would end up um, some people would end up uh, on foot or driving vehicles and that would result in like this sort of uh, weird battlefield where some people would people would take on different roles in the fight So you would have, the Warhawks would take to the sky and they'd try to gain control of like the center of the battlefield so that way they have air superiority. Then you would have other people who would try to... Uh, get destroyed, damn it. You have shields which will regenerate so it might be a good idea for me to just hover back here. Taking hits. I don't know from where. There might be a boat or something down here. Yep, the other is. Anyway, the I had decided to jump into a warhawk and just sort of fly my ass out over to the other side, and then nobody expected this. So I landed right next to the flag, picked it up, and then ran myself over to a truck because I couldn't fly the Warhawk away. And then once I had my truck, once I had my truck, I would, uh, oh, I got it. I started, I got in the truck and I started driving back to my base, but once... <laughs> Once you uh, had the flag, you would appear, appear on everybody's radar. So the enemy team started coming after me. So I had Warhawks firing missiles down at me and all this other kind of shit. Ah! So I remember I got stuck in, like, uh, around some trees. And I had these guys firing missiles down at me. And like, oh, God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I had a headset. Not everybody on a PlayStation 3 had a headset. It was one of the problems with multiplayer in that console. But I had a headset and everybody in the beta test had a headset. It was one of the requirements to get in. So I called in for some help and I'm sitting there trying to hide and there's these two Warhawks just floating above because they're VTOL and just firing machine guns down at me. And I'm hiding in the trees so it's hard for them to hit me. But I figure like, ah, oh, fuck it. Like I got nothing left so I pulled out a, I pulled out a gun thinking I was going to step out there and just sort of go down in a blaze of glory because like I wasn't getting out of this situation anyway. And as I step out I see these two missiles come in and take out the take out the Warhawks that are shooting down at me. And it's like a scene out of a movie. It's so awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not talking about the right game. Oh, shit. Uh, I should let my shields regen. I'm, uh... Follow the trees. Oh, shit. Just sort of strafe back and forth and they have a harder time hitting you. Uh, 
Alright. What was this? A second mission? Yes, yeah, a second mission. What just happened? Did I reach the end of the level? Oh no, I just hit a loading screen. This is narrow. <sighs> You're breaking up my fun here. Kind of weird that the reticle is, it's centered in on the screen, but it's not centered in the viewport. So, it feels like you have to be too high in order to, um, to shoot. I guess maybe you don't have to be that high, or, or you, you sort of, it screws up my perspective on where the aircraft is in relation to everything else on the map, or on the screen. Am I at the end? I think I'm at the end. There's a there's a wall of shit here, I think. Oh, it's another one of these. I hit I hit something. I gotta destroy the other side of it. That's annoying. Well, I got the, the the guns off of it. So I can just sort of strafe out and rocket the thing. Die, damn it. And did I get it? Oh no, the one on the other side's still there. I destroyed this one. There we go. Is it over? Yes, it's over. I need to... There's a red mercury canister around here somewhere. Probably in one of these holes. Yeah, there it is. There in... Oh, it was one on the other side. It's the MacGuffin of this series <laughs> game good job down there but before you cleaned out that canyon a messenger got out we tracked it to a cloaked transport over the Pacific transport now, why is that the last thing I wanted to hear? It's not good. It's not good at all. The lab boys analyzed the sample you brought back from the pyramid. We think Creel built those mysterious bases to get it. So they're mining this... Red mercury. Analysis IDs it as part of a classified government project that was aborted and supposedly shot into space. Somebody lied. Creel's been digging it up. No one knows much about it, but it's rated as a class one threat. And this transport, it's its carrier. The Internationals will run interference. I want you to cripple that transport and get its cargo. Uh, begging the Commander's pardon, but, uh, are you crazy? One ship up against a whole transport convoy? How about a little support from the rest of the force? Mr. Walker, you were at the Pyramid in the Canyon. 
How many ships did you see come back? Nicely done, Walker. Well, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Seriously, we're the only thing left? <laughs> Alright, so this was my favorite level. Because you had this sort of flying aircraft carrier, and then you had these other little transports. So... Gotta destroy these... I th uh, anyway, I think we gotta destroy these other ones out here. And then we gotta go and take out the big one. Well, I don't think we destroy the big one, but we definitely... Missed a few times. Man, I suck. Oh, each one. Okay, so each one of them has a red mercury canister. So we just need to claim them. Oh, I crashed into it. But don't worry, it's alright. Where is it? I don't know. Got him. Cool seeing the animation of it falling down. Now I didn't get this game back. Oh shit. Oh fuck. It's got big guns. Alright, so I remember now that my old strategy used to be to not pick up the canister until I've taken out all of the other until I've taken out get out of there fuck fuck oh I died this was an until I die episode wasn't it oh, shit that means I'm done <laughs>